Bruce Wayne back again with another mansion tour. Right here we are standing in front of Seven Montague Way in Birmingham, Alabama. And um, me and my buddy who was standing right there, um, we built this house. This is a real life house, so I say it's pretty neat. It's huge. It's freaking huge. That's all I can say. So let's just start by going up here. I'm doing a 360 of the house. Um, we just finished this house actually the other day. And that took us quite a long time. I'd say at least a month and a half. But, um, it was quite an experience building this. Got a tennis court. Probably not the best tennis court. I could probably have made a few adjustments to it, but I didn't. But uh, this this was fun building this house. I enjoyed it a lot. I'd say everything on this is exact. Um, we are going to have a boat dock over here with a speedboat and a yacht. That'll be in a separate video, though. So, yeah. This place is huge. Alright, so, seen that 360. Now let's come start right here. Going up to the front staircase. O torques and Bruce Wayne. T stands for torque. W stands for Wayne. If we come up here, we will say there is 16 garages, one ballroom, one tennis court, one boat dock. Boat dock coming soon. 16 bedrooms, 27 bathrooms, 54,000 square feet. Now the 16 and 27 is our numbers, but the real life house is 54,000 square feet. We have one theater, one bowling alley, one basketball court, and one pool. Pool is outside, the rest is underground. So, now let's get to it. Come into the foyer, have a nice big... Really? Really, Bruce? There's always something. Of course. God. We have a nice big chandelier, nice big staircase. Right here we just have some closets, you know. Just come in here, hang your coat. Alright, let's let's get started. We put a lot of time into this house. We actually the furnishing just ended yesterday. But um got a nice little great room right here, a TV and a fireplace. I'd say building fireplaces is my profession, because I love building them. You have a grand piano here. Let's look up the balcony. Chandelier. Now if we go this way, this hallway leads to outside. We'll go out there later. And this one leads to some rooms that I do not know what they are. You got a guest bedroom with a closet and a bathroom. So, say that, we come over here to a bathroom. And then if we go this way to a library, you know, just a library. And we come over here to the dining room. Got a nice chandelier above this. And the kitchen. This was like... It doesn't seem that hard, but this kitchen was so hard to build. But, like, the shape of it. Like, it would be hard to get, like... Because we'll, we didn't want the kitchen to be expanded all the way over here to this wall. So, we just wanted this general area. So, it would be hard. We had to, like, figure out... We went, like, through ten different plans of organizing things and this is what we came up with so this is it we have a pantry in here 
And then, you know, more doors lead to the backyard. We'll go out there later. And this way to... That goes to the basement. That'll be last. Another library. And then... This is a neat room right in here. Besides... The laundry room. And then... The utility room. You know, hot water heaters. A furnace. Some pipes. And a trash can. So if we come this way. Jeez get out of my face. Rocket raccoon. I'm Groot by the way. So if we come this way. Yeah this way. Across this hallway. We have. Um, back here is the same as the other side. You know just a hallway. Leads to the door outside. And this way, it'll lead to another guest bedroom. Same as the other one. You got your closet. And the bathroom. And then over here, we have a game room. Got your blackjack table. Pool table. I don't know what kind of game this would be. I don't know. Pinball? Something? Two pinball machines? And then a flat screen. Oh, and this is supposed to be like the pool cue, pool stick. So that's a neat design. And here we have another bathroom. And you know what I forgot to show you guys on this side? My gosh. The garage. How? Oh, that's just dumb of me not to show you this. Anyways, we have an office in here. Actually, yeah. An office. And over here we have a bathroom. Open garage door. Neat. And here we have a storage room. Put some car parts. And actually, if you're wondering, these are spare tires right here so and a toolbox then this way let's go back to the other side yeah over here okay so right here we have like a workout room you know best treadmill design I could come up with and then a weightlifting bench and then a little boxing area and then some punching bags, but I'm not going to punch those because I'll, I'll break them because I'm so strong. And back this way. Another laundry room and another utility room. I still have my cold, by the way. Just letting you know. Status update. <laughs> another garage, you know, another storage room. Um, another office and another bathroom. Now, if we come this way, back here, we have the actual living room, another one of my fireplaces, and a flat screen. Then, here is the ballroom, it's just a big open area. Oh, this fireplace is actually see-through, just like, you know. <laughs> and right here we have storage. And back this way, we will work our way up to the second floor. Back here we have just the balcony overlooking the grand piano can't really see it. I don't think you can see it from any direction. But um, over here we have a door that goes out onto a balcony. Look out over the pool. Pool houses. Guest houses. I don't know why we need guest houses when we have plenty of bedrooms in here. But right here we have a bathroom. 
And then across that we have a spare bedroom with a bathroom and a closet. Come over here. We have now another spare bedroom with a bathroom and the closet. And then another bathroom. I believe this is his side of the house, I think. I don't know. It might be my side. But I have just a spare bedroom here. Another spare bedroom. But this one has clo not a closet, a bathroom, and a closet. If we come this way, we have another bathroom. Um office and this is my side actually so office with the bathroom and that's the master bedroom there's two master bedrooms you know one for me and one for him because we both worked on this house together laundry room because you don't want to go all the way downstairs to do laundry and upstairs library now I have that nice spruce floor Big bed, look out over the pond, the ocean, you know, and then this huge master bathroom with your own toilet right here, sinks, and the shower. You know, these are, um, you know, the shower heads that you can have on the ceiling or you can have like the body jets on the wall. Well, the buttons are the body jets and then these are all shower heads. Pretty neat, and then you have the closet. Decent sized closet. Now let's zoom over to the other side. If I can make it over there without running into anything. Alright, same as the other side, spare bedroom. Spare bedroom with closet. Whoops. And a bathroom. And then over here you have the laundry room. And then right here you have office with the bathroom. And then that's his bedroom, I'll show you that. The library again. And then his bedroom, you know, plain simple design. Not you know, not too much stuff. Then his bathroom is the same as mine. Actually, he doesn't have as many shower heads as me. <laughs> the closet's the same, just different floor. Alright, so let's go outside. I really want to show you guys the basement last because it's the best thing in the house. So, let's go find the back door. I believe there's one right here, yep. So what we have is just, you know, just walkway that leads around over here to some bushes. And this massive pool. Got that little design with the wall. Now let's go into the guest house. Get your bedroom little kitchen area and then here you have the bathroom and then a closet that's all you need in a guest house right and then you just have this area I don't know you can have parties out here I guess with a fireplace So let's go over here to this. 
which leads us to the tennis court. It's a decent sized tennis court actually. And then this leads us to the pond. You can go fishing or whatever you want to do. Put a boat in here. Who knows. Now let's go over here. Um, this just leads up to... You know, so you don't have to walk all the way around. But this just leads up to the top garages. See? Come back down here. And this door leads into the garage. Even though there's an open garage door. But uh, down here you have a bike, a car, and a car lift. It took me about five minutes to come up with this car lift design. It's neat. And then... One second. <laughs> okay, um, that was kind of awkward interruption. My mom was yelling at me, so kind of had to respond. Or else she wouldn't stop yelling at me, so. Anyways, this is the bowling alley, two-lane bowling alley. Nice big flat screen with a bar underneath. You know, I have a lot of parties down here. And this is it. That's in the basement. That's all I want to show you guys. Nothing special. <laughs> Just kidding. I wouldn't just add this down here. Um, actually, that leads upstairs. I showed you the staircase earlier. And this leads to um, two bedrooms. This is neat because, um, you know, the mirror shines into the other bedroom's bathroom. Then you have this big shower. And this decent-sized closet. Now, on each side, the bedrooms are the same, so is isn't really much. So, if we go out here, we have just a bathroom. And here we have a hunting area, hunting room, your own personal hunting room. Thought it was kind of a neat thing, like a natural area, you know what I mean? Get a little pond. And then over here, you have the same thing. Just do a quick little run through. You know, the bathroom. And then the best thing for last. Just kidding. Over here we have a basketball court. <laughs> you know, just under a little bar. Shoot some hoops. You know, on a rainy day you could come down here. And over here we have, you know, another garage. Car lift. Same thing as the other side, just different cars. But, um... The theater, you're like, oh, when's he going to show us the theater? But it's right here. You could fit like a whole town in here. I don't know. I didn't count all the seats yet. I don't have time to. But, um, this is the big freaking theater. <laughs> See out here, imagine playing a game on this, like, COD or something, Call of Duty. You have to have, like, your sensitivity on, like, negative freaking three or whatever. They don't even do that, but, uh. It's not possible, but, uh, yeah, that's probably about it for this house, guys. I don't think there's anything else that I'm not sure of. Um, where's the entrance? Right here? Yep. So, 7 Montego Way, you can Google it, you can compare my house with it. Actually, this part right here, um, on the house, it's like, kind of like a circle thing that goes up. 
and over, but it was kind of hard to do that. So I just kind of went with that design. Um, this house is really neat, guys. You'll be lucky because when we finish this world, there will be a download up for it. Where's the map? There it is. Um, this this is actually the neatest world that I've done so far. The planning of it's just so good that it's not even funny. But uh, seven Monte Galway. If you can't spell that, then you're dumb. So made by O Torx and Bruce Wayne. Peace out. Oh, and like, subscribe, and comment.